Hi, welcome to a quick tutorial. Uh, my name is Liz Pratt. My website is lizpratt.com or you can reach me at workwithliz.com. And right now I'm just logging on to my HostGator C panel and I want to show you how you can set up an email address, forward it to your Gmail and also respond from your Gmail. So this is one of the questions I get asked all the time. Someone just asked me it again and so I want to make sure that I make a quick video so um, every time someone asks me the question I could respond with that and uh, this is what I do I work from home I'm at home right now with my two-year-old and my one month old and so if you hear a little noise in the background TVs dogs anything that's what it is I call it living the laptop life and you can work from anywhere anytime you want and uh, income has no ceiling you can you know work from home so that's what I want to share with you how I do that and show you that in my video really quickly how I set up my email addresses for my different websites and how easy it is to just run it all through my Gmail because that's just what works for me. So if that's what you're looking for, I hope this answers your question. So here I am, I logged on to my cPanel. How do you log on to your cPanel? It's yourwebsite.com slash cPanel. So it's whatever your website domain is slash cPanel. It'll ask your username and password. So that's where I'm at. I logged on. I use HostGator. It's the one I recommend for almost everyone. It's the easiest. It um, seems to be the best price from shopping around. And I have all my websites under one $10 hosting account at um, HostGator. So uh, my link for HostGator is hostgator.workwithliz.com. And you can find more about it on my website and why I use it and how I use it and videos on how. But today it's going to be how to set up your email. So scroll down. Once you get in to where it says email accounts, I'm going to set up a new email account. Okay? And so I can set it up to be any email address I want. So today I'm just going to use my name, Liz at, and let's see which domain I want to set it up for. I will do it for my Craigslist cash course. And I put in an email address. And I make sure they match. And then I say create account and it creates me account. Okay, now the next step is to go back to the home of the cPanel and I need to forward this to my Gmail to make sure that I'm getting them on my Gmail. So I go to where it says um, forwards and I'm going to forward with it. Now if I decide I don't want to read it on my Gmail, that's fine. I can read it right here on, on webmail. I could also set up autoresponders. I could um, set up, you know, all these different things on here. So it's up to me if I want to set up mailing lists, autoresponders, forwarders, any of that. But today I'm going to set up a forward to forward right on to my Gmail. So to do that, I just go in and I add a forwarder. And I pick Liz from the Craigslist Cash Course.com. And I'm going to forward it to a Gmail address. and then I add the forwarder. So it's that simple. I've now forwarded it to go on to my Gmail. And a lot of people have already figured this out. This is pretty easy, but this is the part that I get the question for, is how do I respond from my Gmail without having to come and log in and all of that? So the way you do that is you go over to your Gmail account, you go under this button here where it says settings, you go to your settings, and you wanna go under this part that says accounts and import, okay? and you want to add another email address that you own. So you can send mail as, okay? Add another email address. And I'm going to add the Liz at the Craigslist Cash Course. And I could change the name that I want it to look like it's coming from. So I'm gonna put Liz at the Craigslist Cash Course. So when it arrives in somebody's email box, that's what it will say. Okay, now I'm going to use Gmail to do that. And it's going to ask me to verify. Okay, so now I just go right back over to my Gmail. And let's see if I got the verification. There we go. And I've requested, and here's the verification code that they sent me. So I want to copy that. And I want to paste that on here. There's a link in there too, I can also click on if I wanted to. And there we go, I'm now verified. So let's go in and double check it and make sure it got me. Let's 
there we go I'm now verified and um, it now shows that I can reply from that email address I can also decide in this case here when replying to a message reply from the same address the message was sent to uh, or I can decide to reply from my default email address I've chosen to reply from whichever one somebody sends it from okay so that seems to be working very well for me um, you can add other accounts you could use this also to import mail and contacts you could change your passwords you can set up your other Google options forwarding and pop IMAP is really great there's all these different things you can do back here under your settings for your Gmail so enjoy it and know that most of the things that you're thinking of that you can do you can do in your Gmail so again this is Liz Pratt from workwithliz.com have yourself a great day bye